Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get to, I didn't do it. Not for me. Because guys in your position already said it enough. I followed your case a little bit. You being a Macon boy and all. You're from Macon then? Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. I always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? I got much choice? Sure don't. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. All officers are available for him coming to one Then before long he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's gotta stop. But that's government property and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if oh, I shit. do say so. This other time... <laughs>
Officer! Thank <laughs> you. 